Hey everyone, it's Blue Lizard Jello, and welcome back to Blue Plays Dragon's Dogma 2. We're here in Bakbatal after what I can only deem was an unfortunate issue with the Riddle of the Sphinx, and I know what I did wrong, and I'm sure you were all telling me in the comments, I didn't pay attention to the fact that when I first approached the Sphinx for the second time, it actually said the Riddle of Reunion had been completed. So that was not, I didn't take that into consideration, meaning I had actually completed six riddles, not just the five. So it wasn't the fact that one was floating as I incorrectly assumed. It was the fact that uh, I had completed six. So that is on me. And frankly, I knew, I knew that there would be some sort of you know, trickery going on, and um, it still didn't, still didn't register. Truly disappointing. But we're here in Bakbatal. We're gonna put that behind us. There's always New Game Plus, and I'm gonna talk to Sarah before we go on and move towards the uh, Phantom Ox cart. Hi. What brings you to Brocker's Smithy? Looking for Scale Cinder, are we? Well, you're in a look. Our forge is flit. Oh, tis at an elf's behest, you say. I'm afraid that changes things a wee bit. Well, hold on. You're telling me you have tons of it just laying around, but because it's for an elf, that changes it? Elves and dwarves don't get along, see? Brocker won't want to help you. So we lie. It's that simple. Unless you were to offer him aught he couldn't resist. Yeah, I'm going to offer him a lie. Listen. I happen to know there's one bit of elven culture no dwarf can turn their nose up at. Legolas? All elven fares bland as grass. All of it. That is, save this singularly flavorsome dish, Nutriab. Of course, no dwarf would openly admit to having a taste for it. But the fact of the matter is, the mere smell of that dish has dwarves foaming at the maw. Don't believe me? Bring a bowl of it to Brucker. You'll soon see. So the blacksmith ought to grant us some Gwifentia in exchange for Nutriarm. Shall we inform Miss Darren of this, Master? I, I guess so. I know where that person can be found. Yeah, we're not going there just yet, okay? Cool it. Silverius, all right? So instead, what we're going to do, it's still, it's actually only just becoming evening. So hopefully the phantom ox cart is there. What I'm going to do though, is this about the center of town-ish? Yeah, I'm gonna put a port crystal right smack dab in the middle of the road here. So Silverius, if you would be so kind, sir. There we go, now I'm gonna use that. This gives me a really, really nice representation of all the places I need to go. So we're gonna switch to the phantom ox cart. And to return here in an instant. Follow me if you would. I know the path best traveled. Okay, but the, the, Raphael, that's where we're going. Lead on. Then while we're here, we might or I might just run out and try and get poisoned by one of the the venom harpies. And is there anything else to do here in Bakbatal? I don't think so. Hmm. Flame Bear Palace, the Spell Seal Door. Ooh. There it is. I definitely broke the quest, though. On your knees, worthless vessels. Ooh. Please tell me I get to kill him. Gather evidence. Wait. You're not a pawn. We've an intruder in our midst. To arms! Oh, please tell me you're talking about me. All right. Oh, boy. Fall back, and I will Summon my Simulacrum. Okay. 
And let's go ahead and latch an effigy onto you. There we go. A little aromatic resurgence. Oh, I love it. Okay, now, can I do that again? Latching effigy. I, oh, actually, I think you might be the last one. Oh, shoot. Who's this? Maxima? Oh, no. Maxima, what happened? Lega, what happened? Wait. Are these all the people that I just murdered? Why would I revive them? They'll just attack me again. Ahem. Oh. The sky is raised. This strikes me as a place of import. Okay, so we're gonna... We're just going to attack you then. Oh, okay. Friends? Why aren't we fighting? Hello? Wait. Is it because they have the God's way? Oh, maybe that's what it is. Is that why they get this weird headache? Because they're refusing to fight, which is a super big problem because I can't do anything to attack. Not enough, at least. I mean, look at this, look at this damage I do. Oh, wait a minute, hold on. All right, I missed. That's a problem. And now I'm going to get stun locked because I can't move. All right, run away, run away. Simulacrum. What I need to do is... All right, ready? Latching effigy, go. That's fine. Attack me. But, but stop at some point. There's just no way to break that. Come on. You. Attack your friend here. That's why you're here. That does not last very long. Where's my simulacrum? I mean, at least you're still healing. I guess that's good. I'm not going to be able to do this as a trickster. And I really hate that he just keeps bonking me. There we go. So now you guys will fight each other, right? But apparently do not do any damage. What is going on? I thought that was the whole point. I, I don't understand. Do I need to maybe just tackle this person? Can I grab you? Why can't I grab? I, I, I'm not able to grab. Are you guys finally over it? No, you're not. It just takes some beating before you care. Is it? Silverius, he's over here. Oh my god. There we go, Silverius. I'm just gonna keep spamming help until they help. Come on now, help. I don't even see his health move. I know it said very little damage, but it didn't say no damage. Okay, what do I got? Nothing that's gonna help. Not a darn thing that's gonna help. I'm gonna use this. Will it give me some, maybe some ice damage or something? Yes, I require assistance. Kill this guy. <laughs> no. 
Ness, hit him, Silverius. Come on. Oh, finally. Not going to revive him. Now we got one more, right? And I cannot grab him. Let my magic spawn to an elemental boon. No, don't do that. Just help, please. Okay, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna pick you up. Maybe this will snap you out of it temporarily. Go, Silverius. Now go! Oh, jeez. Not sure what else to do here. We finally got one dead. You know what? Hit him with, with Raphael. No, I can't depend on any of you right now. Finding a flaw with this vocation. Now, you want me now to go give this to Grant, or where? Where's the map marker or the quest marker for this? Search for evidence. Can't do anything with the door. Do I do I just have to throw my pawns at you to damage you? I mean, it's working. Sorry, Silverius, but you're the only weapon I have. Okay, that that one was on me. Don't don't get mad, okay? No, 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 come back. An enchantment of cold. Oh, there we go. What if I really just throw him super high? No, okay, Attila or Alita? Sorry. All right, who's next? Raphael? Nope, Silverius. What are you doing? Stay there. We got him. Hey, it, it worked. It worked. We got evidence. Stop. Stop it. Excuse me. I have no beef with you. You go away. All right, we uh, we got what we needed. And I shall by Interesting. I'm not reviving any of these people. I don't know what's up with that door, but I guess I can't do anything about it right now. Uh, what does the incriminating order say, or labor requisition? Bearing orders to forcibly procure pawn labors for the Batali ruins. It also mentions a curious staff capable of commanding the pawn legion. Who do you think has that? Lord Phasus? Because I bet it's Lord Phasus. Very interesting indeed. Well, it worked. <laughs> I have uh, almost met my match with the Trickster Vocation. But it turns out the Trickster Vocation, their best weapon is uh, throwing pawns. Yeah. Okay. So... What to do? We need to go back to Sacred Arbor. We need to go back to Vernworth. We still need to find and track down a Medusa. I still need to go to the Volcanic Camp. Although, can I even get to the Volcanic Camp? Because that was somewhere down there, right? And it looked like that door 
Oh no, was that that door? Or is that this? Well, now I'm not even sure. Okay, I think what we ought to do is head back to Vernworth. What is Raphael for what? Alright, that chime, where's it coming from? It seems like it's nearby. By and large, the people of Bagbatal seem to adore their benevolent empress. I've remarked that myself. They revere Her Majesty with all their hearts and regard her. Can I get on this tent? Excuse me. Cry from Vermin. I cannot count the number of bobs I've heard uttered about the Queen Regent. It's it's close. Stop jumping underneath the scaffolding, please. It couldn't hurt to take a peek. Not here. Up on that awning? Really? Can I... Can I stand on that even? How would I even get up there? Oops. I don't... I don't know how I could get up there. Take a quick peek. There it is. Gosh, I don't know. I'm not sure. Not gonna trouble myself with it. So, this place costs about 10 grand a night. What does it cost down in the, in the lower area? Where they're more welcoming of pawns to sleep through the night. I think I want to just go take care of the the venom harpy while we're here. Oh, there is no inn down here. There's just a tavern. I just don't want to do this at night. Nor do I want to spend 10,000 gold to sleep. Oh, but there's a there are benches. Blue, there are benches. You don't always have to sleep. There's a bench right here. Let's uh, wait till morning. There we go. That works. And let's see if we can't go get envenomated. Shouldn't be too difficult. There were plenty of Venom Harpies, or Venom Harpies, however they want to call it. Nah. I'm always intrigued by Traveling Merchant, but I don't know that I've ever found anything with anything super useful. You'll have to excuse me. I have a job to attend. Yeah, there's a Seeker's Token up here somewhere. There it is. Here's a surprise. At least I'm still getting the chime. Hold on. Maybe. Oh, I'll have to remember to tell my own. Maybe this is how I go get the other one. Uh oh. Where? Oh, there it is. Oh, maybe this is it. Not always travel by foot. Sorry, everyone. Novel inventions such as this, such a this chime is a blessing and a... Oh, no, 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 no. It's almost as though it were placed here for our benefit. I would have to be on that side. So maybe there's another way to climb those rocks. But this isn't it. Oh, good. A griffin where I'm trying to go. Right, that could get interesting, especially because I'm going to tell my pawns to wait. Please go away, Griffin. Okay, now, everyone, 
Wait here, I shall return. Oh, he's absolutely gonna attack me. What am I doing? What a good view of the landscape from up here. May have all spot something of interest. I see something of interest. I don't want to though. Maybe I should put on that quest. Okay, Griffin's pretty far. Well, this is riveting content, but tell you what, why don't I cut it here, and I'll bring you back when I'm either dead by a griffin or um, locating some harpies. All right, this is good, right? I found some. Now I just have to actually get envenomated by him. They've already tried. There we go. Got it. Now I just gotta make it back. <laughs> oh no. Wait, I'm not... Why am I not envenomated? Knocking me out? Cancel that? Cheaper, now I'm envenomated. What is going on? Oh, jeez. Okay, good. Now, let me go. Let me go. Move. You gotta go quicker than that, Blue. Alright, you know what we need? Simulacrum. These guys are gonna kill me. Okay, good. But they're they're just destroying my simulacrum. No, wrong way, wrong way, wrong way. Please stop. <sighs> yeah, I'm gonna die. I'm absolutely gonna die as close as I am. Wait. Wait. We might have done it. We might have done it. Just, you know, don't let yourself die. No, the Arisen has been No, I'm okay. I'm okay. Stop. Stay with me, Arisen. I'm okay. Wait a moment. Don't no 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 wait. Don't heal me. Alita, don't heal me. Do not heal me. I'm okay. I appreciate the concern. Leave me alone. Who's who's dying? Remarkable. I can tell at a glance that the venom of a venom harpy is wreaking sweet agony upon you. Sweet agony, he says. Yes, indeed. The toxin is making fine progress. Let's see here. Elevated temperature, peeling of the skin, pupils unfocused. Oh my, so much to study. Splendid. I dare say I've learned all I can. I must thank you, my friend, for your steadfast assistance. I'm on the cusp of a new breakthrough, and all thanks to your tireless efforts. Now, as for the next task, have no fear. It will not be so trying as the last. Really? Let me guess. I just need to get poisoned by a chimera? This time, I would have you accompany <laughs> me while I subject myself to the venom of the chimera. No, he's going to get poisoned by a chimera. Much in this world can only be learned by experiencing it firsthand. My own health is a small price to pay to advance work of such enduring significance. I've marked out the spot I'll wait for you on your map, so be sure to join me there as soon as you can. We shall seek out the Chimera together. Oh, you've got to be kidding. So, wait, why is it? 
Why is it nighttime already? How long was he studying me? All right, where where is it? That's that's my question. Oh, great googly. Okay. All right, I get it. I get it. It's not too bad. It's not too bad. Definitely not something I'm going to tackle right now. In fact, I think what I'm going to do, do I have any more rift stones in my inventory right now? I have one more, nine more in storage, which is amazing. I think we're going to go back to Vernworth and we're going to go talk to Brant and we're going to rest, obviously. Blink of an eye. Uh, shall we take stock of our surroundings? Is that noise because I'm low on health? This looks as good a place as any. Well, we're going to rest up anyway. So we'll be okay. Let's rest. Getting proper rest is an important Then I got to grab another <laughs> fairy stone because then we're going to go to Sacred Arbor after this. Jeez. Fairy stones start to get used up really quickly. I just I feeling fortune shall favor I don't have the patience anymore to run absolutely everywhere. Ready to forge on? I mean I really didn't use fast travel a whole lot leading up to this, so I don't feel super super bad about it. Oh, I totally forgot to get fairy stones out though. So let's do that right now. Withdraw. Go to implements. Take a couple. Much obliged. This ladder looks sturdy enough to climb. And then we gotta go to the tavern, but the tavern probably not going to have Brant in it yet because he likes to come at night. Oh, behind the bar, sorry. But we can wait for him. Basically, I just want to see the Queen Regent get busted for all this, and I know she's behind this if uh, if her good friend Lord Phasus is controlling that staff. Nope, Branch just appeared. You have my fullest confidence. About the Phantom Ox cart. Has there been some development, Your Majesty? Well, now, you have divined the Oxcart's destination, then. I see. So they were procuring pawns in order to carry out this excavation. The staff you mention is most curious. It sounds as if tis of the same make as the jewel wielded by the Queen Regent's puppet. I had heard pawns face much prejudice in Batal. Yet to hear that they are treated as tools to be discarded and given such perilous tasks is contemptible indeed. Volcanic Island has long been part of Batal's territory. The lake of lava present there is revered for its flames, which are sacred to the Batali people. Perhaps it would be considered blasphemy to give such work to their own. Or could this simply be a means of testing the efficacy of these jewels that allow for the control of pawns? I can offer naught but conjecture. For now, we ought to aim our efforts towards proving that a member of the Vermundian court has been selling pawns. Should we succeed, even the Queen Regent herself could not deflect the people's displeasure. She would doubtless lose their confidence. You have my gratitude, Your Majesty. The evidence you have gathered shall form the stalwart pillar upon which our rightful claim will rest. It is most valuable. So pray, exercise the utmost care when deciding how it ought to be used. Last, the score is settled. In the world before this, we failed to incriminate the Queen Regent, you see. Right. Wait, in the world before this, meaning you were with someone who failed to incriminate. So what do I do now? You have my fullest confidence. You have my gratitude, Your Majesty. Tis most valuable. Is there aught else you would speak of? Your Majesty, do not forget that we work to serve. So. 
I guess maybe now I just wait? I mean, you took the item from me. That quest is now completed. Huh. Okay. Right, well then, uh, I guess it's time to head to Sacred Arbor. Go get some... Whatever that was called. <laughs> I don't remember. I don't recall. Oh, it's just... This is just such a, a fetch quest full episode, isn't it? It's not really fetch quest, but you know what I mean. We're just going all around the continent. But I feel like we've earned it. At least I have, or maybe I'm just justifying it, I don't know. Alright. Kinda hope my friend's here, by the way. Have you found Gwafentia? No, not quite. I need a bowl of soup. <laughs> what a weird saying. <laughs> a dwarven blacksmith has some? Truly? But elves and dwarves do not see, uh, eye to eye. I fear the smith will not heed my plea. You believe he will if I prepare an elven dish? Which one? Nutriarch. Dwarves have a liking for it, they say? Are you certain? Nutriarb is not very tasty. Few elves enjoy it. That's probably why he likes it. It is a pungent stew of um, old fish and apples, boiled till it forms a, a, a thick paste. But I shall prepare it if it has any chance of bringing me Grafentia. The Arbor Heart depends upon it. Would you be willing to gather the ingredients for me? Is it rotten fish and apples? Because I'm pretty sure I got plenty of that in my storage. You won't have to go far to find them. I thank you. I need only the two main ingredients. Rotten apples and rotten... Ooh, fish. do I have any rotten apples? Bring them to me, and I will prepare Nutriarb. Eww. Rotten fish and apples? My stomach lurches at the very thought. Oh, uh, but I suppose we ought to procure them all the same. It is as you say. Yeah, I'm not sure if I have any rotten apples. Rotten fish, I should. Withdraw. Let's see. Hey, rotten apples. And rotten tide swimmers. Hey, we did it. But there is... My augment is chiming here. So I gotta see if I can't find either the Seeker's Token or the Wakestone Shard. It's... It's up there. Okay. Seeker's Token. Beautiful. Let's grab that. What is the easiest way to get to it? From here, I suppose? Uh... Get away from the wall. Look at that. First try. Nice. Alright, Dwarin. I got your ingredients. Probably just one of each, I imagine, is all I needed anyway. Oh, there's something else chiming over here, huh? Do you have the ingredients? Sure do. This is all I need. I will prepare the dish now. It shan't take long. Good. I'm glad it's not something where I have to come back in a couple days. People dwell in the mountains, so we are rarely able to dine on fish from the sea. This dish was first made by an elf with a craving for fish, when no fresh fish was to hand. These fish already stink of the sea. Left to rot, they turn even more um, pungent. <laughs> Nutriarb is oft served at celebratory events, but I have never seen anyone eat it. Everyone turns their noses from the smell. 
And that's how you know it's done. I must endure. It is almost finished, thankfully. The stink is more than I can bear. It is ready, but it is so vile. I cannot understand how anyone could stomach it, let alone enjoy it. I fear the dwarven blacksmith will be angry if I present him with this. But I will trust in you. Come, let us away to Batal. Oh, you're coming with me? I thank you. Here, my brother gave this to me. You gave me a fairy stone, didn't you? I cannot use it now. The sooner we arrive, the better. Awesome. Wait, follow Dwarin. Why am I following Dwarin? But also, why... Why do I have something in here? Telesin. Our curious guest returns. Would you be willing to fulfill a request of mine? I am unused to writing in your tongue, yet I shall try to convey what I intend. I have heard that you are a ruler in the making... As a leader myself, I have an obligation to learn more about you, and I can't deny that I am personally curious as well. Let us embark on a journey together and foster our acquaintance. Not right now. I'm hoping... Looks like I didn't fail it, so that's good. Wait. Will you come with me if I use a fairy stone? I mean, you gave it to me, so I would hope so. Bakbatal, let's go. Yes, excellent. The sight of Yonok's cart has brought all my fatigue to the fore. Shall we? Uh, and then let's see. One hopes these carts offer comfort commensurate to their cost. Let's see how this plays out. Oh wait, why are we? Why are we bringing an elf with us when Brocker apparently despises the elves? So you'll be bringing the elf here, Anon? That ought be interesting. Yeah, it should be. You're back! And who's that you've got with you? This is Dwerin. Dwerin, this is Sarah. An elf? I ne'er met one afore. Not quite what I imagined, if I'm honest. Uh, well met. The name's Sarah. I'm an apprentice here at the smithy. Well met. She's the one who's after the scale cinder, I expect. Have you brought some of that elven delicacy along with you then, like I suggested? Yes, I have the Nutriarb with me. It'd be funny if this is just a joke on Brocker, though. Marvellous. I thought I smelt it on you. Mark me. You put that in front of Brocker, and he'll fain hear out your request. Right, follow me. I've just cleaned out the forge, see, so we'll need to make for the cavern where we dump all the excess scale cinder. Come on, you two. The cavern's this what? way. What? What do you mean? You don't just have it? Shall we follow Sir Sarah? Master? Obviously. With any luck, we'll have pockets full of scale cinder before the day is done. All right, Sarah. Let's go. Come to think of it, pain I experienced at the coronation was beyond imagining. What baleful art could grant one other than the arisen control over pawns? Now, how far do we have to go, Sarah? Because, you know, down here... There's some asps. I know this because I was recently uh, greatly poisoned by them. In fact, they were right down here. So where are we going? Oh, you're going up there. Oh, there's a little path I never noticed. Oh, pretty cool. What am I going to have to fight? You in here? 
What's all this racket? I thought I told you that... You imbecile. You brought an elf here, of all things. Get her out of here, now! Hold a moment, Brocker. She's brought something for you. Don't you want to see what is? A gift for you. Ah, what makes you think I'd be able to stomach your elven cooking? I'm gonna go dispose of this, and I expect the elf to be gone when I return. What am I to do now? Go into the cave and take the scale center? What you came here for, of course! This is your chance! Truly? But... You'll have to be quick, mind. Brocker makes short work of his meals. While you're at it, you might have yourselves a little competition, eh? See who can collect more of the stuff. Anyway, good luck. I'll be outside keeping watch. Okay. Best start searching. Brocker might be back any moment. So, Straggler's Cave. Competition. We shall not be found wanting. Let us gather every ounce of scale cinder we may. Sure, but how? Oh, there we go. There's some. What is... Oh, spiders! Does this do any damage if I do this? No. Is there any in here? Ah. Okay, maybe it was just the one. Alright, let's keep going. Is there anyone else even in here with me? Oh, rats, why? I wonder if skill center is used for anything else. Rotten horse, bud. Okay, there's some. So this really is just a byproduct of their smithing, which is kind of fun. It's kind of like it's uh, hidden underneath stuff, too. No, no, don't gather there. That's slow. Well, I guess I'll take the lantern oil. I've got a good feeling about this one. Oh, quick break this. Got a Seeker's token. Very nice. Uh, there's a little bit of Scale Cinder right there. Oh, there's a ladder to go up, too. It was well worth the effort of breaking it. Is that it? Just the few pieces. We're actually getting some decent stuff from the crates, though. Probably getting plenty if I just broke more of this, huh? Hey, there was some more scale cinder. Oh, there's some more. Okay, that looks pretty well cleared out. Unless, can I break that? No. If I might be so bold as to speak my mind, you go right ahead. The private quarters of one arisen I served had many a visitor, and rarely the each to their own. Trying to just break everything now. I don't know if it's actually timed. Sure doesn't feel that way. Any more scale cinder? I'm actually getting the chime again, which is interesting. I think that's uh, about it. At least here, I guess, is still more of the cavern yet. 
probably some behind here, I'd imagine. We'd best leave it at that. Wouldn't want Bracker to aspire you in here. Come on. My heart is racing. I thought the dwarf would catch us. How much scale cinder did you get? Uh, six apparently. You've got so much. With this, the Arbor Heart will undoubtedly recover. For now, I must return and tend to the Arbor Heart. I hope you will come visit us again. I should like you to see the Arbor Heart, um, restored. And I must thank you as well, Sarah. You and the blacksmith, Brocker. Not at all. It was my pleasure. I'm sure Brock would say the same if he weren't so stubborn. Now Warbler caplet, 13,000 gold, okay. And seeing Miss Derren's cheerful meet. No thanks needed. I was just glad to be a you. Now, I wonder if there's any more in there, though. And could I have just gone in here and gotten the scale cinder? That'll be an interesting question for New Game Plus. It is fascinating, though, that there's still a chime. Also, where did you get 750 gold just now? But it could be that it's up above. Maybe. Okay, so we can go back to Sacred Arbor. Band has come to feel like a family. Oh, don't say that, because I'm going to be getting rid of you soon, Raphael. No offense. No matter how far we might stray, we can always find each other again. So what do we got left? All right, we've got to go find the Chimera. This is main quest. This is Medusa. And this is Volcanic Island Camp, which I do want to go to. Uh, also, I was told that there was something else to discover at the Oracle. And the oracle's right there. That's not terribly far. Especially if I could just take the ropes. I could take from here to here and then from here to there. And that's pretty close. The Reverend Shrine. Do I want to make my way there? I kind of do. What time is it? It's actually becoming morning. So I'll tell you what. Why don't I make my way there? This will be a good chance for me to potentially gain some more discipline points and rank up my trickster vocation. Let's do that, and then I will just bring you back for anything interesting. Otherwise, I'll see you back at that shrine. All right, ready? We're going to do latching effigy. Go! Hey, all. You want to come down and fight? Do some aromatic resurgence. Good damage. Well done. Kill that last one, please, and thank you. Excellent job, everyone. Excellent job. Oh, right. Anyway, like I said, we'll go ahead and bring you back for anything interesting. Well, I'm sure there's still room for improvement. Well, do we think a golem fight is worthy of uh, bringing you back? I think so. Oh, knock him over, knock him over. I'm just gonna pull on his leg. Okay, let's do some more damage. Get some aromatic resurgence going.
All right, my simulacrum's almost gone. There we go. Now he is gone. All right, summon a new one. Take his foot. Watch it now. I don't know why I just latched him on to himself. Maybe he'll hit himself. I don't know. Oh, careful now. Good damage. Good damage. Knock him down. Oh, come on. Help. Help. Pull. Pull. Nah, that's not going to work. All right, I'll just do some looting while you guys are still fighting, I guess. Probably need a new simulacrum, I would imagine. We just gotta knock him over. Come on. I'm actually pushing his leg. I'm actually sliding his leg. I know. I'm actually trying to make him fall. Come on, everyone, pull his legs. Oh, that hurt. Oh, that hurt. Okay, aromatic resurgence. No problem. Careful now. Oh, that was a big hit. i uh, tell you what. Let's go to my items. Running. I need some health. That'll work. Yeah, again. Interesting vocation, just not ideal for several reasons. I want to grab his, grab his foot, grab his foot. You can actually turn him a little bit, which is kind of funny. Oh, no, no, no. Holy cow. Okay. Need to use that again. Good hit, Silverius. Keep going. Hit, hit, hit him right here. Oh, you already broke it. So where's his last one? Assuming there's just one more. Hell on his arm. Wait, why did I bring... Why did I bring a second mage? I wasn't even thinking about this. This doesn't make any jeepers. Oh no. Ah. Oh. I, did I just die again? No. But I need to knock this guy down. Come on, make him fall. This is not good. Yeah, when I got Alita, I chose a mage because I thought for some reason that I had another DPS. I thought for some reason Raphael was a thief. Yep, go get my simulacrum. It Come on, Severius, we need you to get up there. Now, when I say help, I mean help me grab his leg. I don't want to run from this. Oh, Severus is finally going up there. Oh, Severus is up. I think we got it. Or, more importantly, I think Severus has it. 
Oh, thank goodness. What a mess. <laughs> what a mess. Great job, everyone. Everyone who isn't me, I guess. Oh, yikes. Well. Now we got some goblins to deal with. And let's do a latching, latching effigy. Oh, not another. No, we're not doing another golem. <laughs> we're just not. I'm gonna grab this. We're gonna leave. Don't, don't bother, folks. Just don't bother. Here, an enchantment of cold to freeze our foes. Yep, come to me. Come to me. Where do I even want to be heading? Is it this way? Nope, I want to go north if I can. So if I can just cut north, that's kind of perfect. I don't know if I'll be able to, but we're going to try. All right, I got some wolves. I got some goblins. So everyone on me. All right, everyone, take out these wolves. Then we got a campsite if we need it. How's no one? How is no one attacking anything? Oh, cause you were still got a golem. All right, run, 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 run. We're out. We're out. We're out. We're out. We're out. We're out. Oh gosh, more. Oh look, I'm just recreating my first run to Bakbatal. Come on, everyone. We're going. Anyway, um, <laughs> I'll be back. Okay, level five. Not bad. We're back at the Oracle's house. Now, I was told that I basically stood right next to this little secret, and I'm not sure what I missed. Here's the Oracle spirit. Can it be you are lost, Arisen One? The path to the dragon has many turns, but I can illuminate the way ahead if you so desire. Weird that I can't pay 50 gold? I don't even know. Oh, God, 84,000. That's a lot. This meeting shall not be our luck. Okay. So I know last time I went up onto the roof, right? Oof. Probably did the exact same thing, and I was looking for Seeker's tokens. But I don't think I found anything, right? So maybe I just need to go back up and take a closer look? Pray slow your feet! You run too fast for the likes of me! Let us endeavor to keep up, though we are less fleet of Can foot. I... Those are all sloped. I don't think I can get up there. That's Alita. Careful, is there anything in front? Well done, Arisen One. You have seen through my deception and divined my location true. This is the trickster, Maester, isn't it? To one of your wisdom, I would be honored to pass on the most subtle of my tricksters. Office. Oh, please be something really impressive. Thurgist's right. Is that all you have to say? Take this. Somewhere in Batal, a hidden truth lies in you. Okay. What hidden truth? So this teaches Dragon's Delusion. Oh my. But now I have to go and learn that, right? Jeez, I still need 2,900 discipline points for the next rank of Trickster. 
but I really want to find out what this is. So what I need to do is either get to a camp. Which there is one fairly close. I don't even know if I have another fairy stone on me. Do I? I have one more. We're, we're doing it. Where do we want to head, though? Let's not waste this too much. Do we want to go to Bakbatal? That seems to be... Yeah, let's go to Bakbatal. And let's go to the Vocation Guild. Let's learn this new skill. See if it's anything worthwhile. If this is not a seemingly impressive ultimate skill, I'm probably going to switch back to Archer. For the time being. It's been fun. It's, it's interesting. It doesn't seem to work as intended. Or maybe that's just me. I don't know. Or maybe it is working as intended, it just doesn't work very well. Okay, so we're going to acquire and equip, equip skills. Creates an illusory dragon that cannot directly deal damage, but instills hostile targets with fear and even causes them to trip or flee. I don't think that sounds great. I'll try it, but I don't think I love the sound of that. I mean, why would I want enemies to run? I don't know. But at any rate, we are going to call it a part there. That's going to do it for this episode of Blue Plays Dragon Song 2. Next time, I think I want to make my way to the volcanic camp, if at all possible. So we'll kind of put that on our next agenda. So that's going to be the uh, Twixt, a rock, and a hard place. That's going to have us traveling pretty far south, if I'm not mistaken. Oh, yes, that will be interesting indeed. We definitely have more exploration coming up, some more secrets tokens to, well, seek out. And I'm going to be making sure that my pawns make sense, but I'll do several things in between this episode and the next. But until then, thank you so much for watching. Hope you're still enjoying, and I will see you next time.